actually, he deserves a sponsor too, man. He's working hard. All these players, you stanky know, leg. putting in work for sure. Yeah, going to rock the stanky leg tag again, and we're just going to hop it right into it. Pokemon Stadium. Game one, guys, here we go. If you guys are just tuning in here, Master Mario and Naito coming into play, and this is, yeah, a top 48 qualifier. So here we go. Hop yeah. into it. So, uh, so, oh, oh, are you alive? Hey. Yes, you are. Okay, so Nito is here because he got the upset versus Pape. So in terms of like seeding, this should have been Massimario versus Pape. But you know what? Nito came in and was just like, I'm not about it. I'm gonna get this upset, and that he did. So here he is fighting Massimario. And Mas like I said, Massimario is someone that climbing his way up the ranks, man. I would not be surprised um, if he continues on his streak, it, he could possibly be top five in SoCal next uh, next PR season. No, I, I believe it, 100%, especially with the, you know, the results he's getting today is definitely can happen for sure. Um, okay, but really nice, yeah, air dodge, directional air dodge onto the ledge there. Gonna get back on really safe, kind of reversing the situation, putting it back on Master Mario, and again, with the kicks, that extension coming out with that leg, this crazy stuff. Yeah, really good anti-air coming out from Nito here. Gets a spot dodge, another conversion from the down tilts. And you see a lot of these conversions are off of the down tilt, the up tilt, right? That's yeah. everything, it, get, it gets everything started here for Nito. Yeah, no, for sure. Nice there onto the stage there, though. Back onto stage, Master Mario just gonna wanna throw him right back off, put him in that disadvantage state again with the directional air dodge coming into clutch there, getting him back on stage. And yeah, already just really close here. Yeah, being in the corner against Mario, not very fun at all, but look at this shield pressure. Every time I see Nito touch somebody's shield with down tilt or up tilt, he just is able to create this block string. I don't know if it's necessarily true or not, but he look at that. Look, look at how it. far they get pushed. Wait, and so Mario was double hit on the up tilt. That's like uh, that's a like a manual input. I think it's okay. called crescent kick. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm not like he's, he's tricky character. Yeah, yeah for definitely sure. a tricky character. But I I'm pretty sure that double hit at the end is like a manual input. Okay. And wow. they can even like hit that and combo from that at like some mid percentage to like tip or forward smash and they can do some nasty stuff. Yeah, no, just being one of those uh, more technical characters for sure. Well, being uh, familiar with him um, in the Street Fighter series, but real okay. Shorty, Quick 40% off yeah, of two actually, moves. Jeez. That's actually terrifying. The fact that it did that much damage too from one move, that's insanity. Yeah, and that's the scary thing about Ken and Ryu. They actually, it, when they hit their normals, they can, can as long as they hit a shield or hit somebody, they can cancel the uh, like the lag from the move right into a special, which is why we were, see, we were able to see the down air instantly right into the up B there. Nice oh. stuff for sure. Gonna get that grab. Gonna offer four throw off stage here. Like the uh, fireball pressure as well here. Just try to take one of his jumps. Not gonna get it. And again, Nito doing a really good job just getting back onto the stage uh, pretty safely here. Definitely uh, pretty much getting back every time here pretty safely. Again, kind of going for a hard read there. Not gonna get it. But again, yeah, that up tilt just has such a massive uh, hitbox there. Oh, Ooh. man. Fortunate that up B, a little crusty <laughs> coming out uh, from Mario there. That sucks. He, I, I feel like he was in such a, like, Nito was bringing it back, but he was pretty much in control, it felt like, that entire stock. But we're going to get that hard reset right into the last stock here for this game number one. We'll see who's going to take the lead here in this set. Big, look at that. That is so much damage coming out from Nito. Pressure here, utilizing that um, hit, uh, Naito being above him on that platform there. Mario's definitely like to be below you for sure, so really nice uh, positioning for him there. And again, there's that grab though into those uh, uh -oh. up air strings here. There we go, going for the dunk. Really nice focus to yeah. actually get out of that situation there. Wow. Yep, that focus is, I mean, we, we have seen Master Mario going for a lot of these down airs too to counteract that. Using those multi hits is going to be a really, really great tool against the uh, focus coming out from Ken and Ryu. But oh, the get up attack. Try to swing, he's off stage yeah. though. Pretty scary though, actually, for Mario too. This is pretty much even at this percent. Um, as we know, Ken's a hard hitter for sure, so if he just gets uh, you know one solid uh, connection here, then I definitely think that could take the stock in that back air. Wow. Yeah, this, this Mario back here is putting in work. The downer off the top. Oh, yes, yeah. it is. 150%. Good stuff to mask the Mario. Just kind of going for it. And, and unfortunately, just kind of being that unsafe option, being enough. Kind of that's all Master Mario needed there, being really patient, knowing what he was looking for, too. So Master Mario um, also in really nice patience and recognition of what uh, Nido wants. Yeah, exactly. And, and the thing is, too, I don't even necessarily think that up B in the corner was bad. The, the Shoryuken wasn't necessarily bad because 
the way Masamaru was pressuring him in the corner, like, really just felt like he had to do something, right? Like, you're just shielding all these back airs, but that gets you nowhere. Yeah. You're still in the corner. You're still getting buried on shield. Masamaru is pretty much doing it in a relatively safe manner. So it just put so much pressure on the needle where it's just like, I need to get out. I need to, like, hit him. It wasn't necessarily bad, but at the same time, Ken's like to, you know, they could literally kill, like, with the connections we were seeing earlier, right. kind of starting off with the up tilt. You usually could just go for one of those stronger options that don't even look like they're going to kill, and they're still going to kill, and it's safer. Safer to throw out, and I was expecting to see that, but instead just ended up throwing out at the Shoryu. So, you know what? Still okay, though. It was really close. Nevertheless, going to run it back to Pokemon Stadium into game two, guys. Here we go. And, wow. um, yeah, again, starting off pretty even here. Either, like, that looked like great SDI coming out from uh, Nito on that uh, down air, kind of yeah. like fall off the top. Usually you consistently see that move fully connect for Mario. Ooh, I nice like the stuff. spacing coming out here. Ooh, right into that. Not going to kill, but beautiful, beautiful amount of damage here. Okay. Oh, into the fair. Again. Yep, there's nice the frame focus. one focus. Yep. Definitely uh, both players kind of being really uh, familiar with each other at this part and a uh, point in the game here. And again, there's those shields. Just have to be really patient here. Kind of, you know, search for uh, those extensions with the legs, right? Kind of just poking at uh, his opponent right now. And again, playing really safe. Started. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, he's trying to get something started, right? But Masamaro just doing a really good job. Staying very safe. Wow, that flood put him in a really bad position. The double jump nice into tatsu. the Tatsu, yeah. Kind of, ooh, wow. Raw forward smash still coming out from Masamaro. What so a call. Mario out. does those smash attacks. It's pretty safe to throw out. Kind of like Wolf, huh? Yeah, yeah. He even has like the crank back as well, Ooh. so definitely helps yeah, for those whiff punishes. Yeah, really nice. And, the, and then shield pressure at the ledge there too. Really nice stuff coming out from Nato. Had to force Master Mario out of that shield there, because if not, that definitely uh, would have possibly, I think, broken his shield there and would have been really bad at the ledge, would have died for it, so. Okay, nice here, stuff. here it, it all starts, but another, yeah, it, it has to be SDI. He's got to be SDIing up, and there's, gonna, there's the confirm. Very, very safe stuff. Not opting for the uh, the show you can, but you know, you know the kicks will get yeah, it done. That's what I expected to see in that uh, that first game that we were seeing there. So saw it now though there, and um, you know only a 69% deficit. Nice parry Ooh, though. Looking like third strike out here. <laughs> exactly. And there's Got that it. down tilt again, and then coming in uh, with that. Uh, what are the, all of his moves in there into a down tilt there? Hitting up with Farron oh, again into the so Shoryu. That's, why does that look so like? Clutch. Doesn't even look like it should work, but it follows up every time and it's getting this stuff consistently. It's so cool because it's almost like Ryu double nair in uh, Smash 4. Um, so he's like nairing and then he fall after he hits the nair, he, he like comes up with the up air and then just tries to set you up to kill you off the top with the show you can, right? Yeah, I know for sure. And again, a really safe top two there on shield there. Kind of a great rate to reset himself, get him back center stage there. Safe. Safe. That is yeah. so safe. Wow, that, that crescent kick pushes you so far back. I don't think I'm ever going to get over that, honestly. Um, Wild. Ken can really just wait back patiently and kind of outrange you. Oh, but there's a down air, and that has been the, the Master Mario go-to for, uh, for this set, man. He, he uses it for damage. He uses it for killing. Exactly. He uses it for comboing. Like, this, this down air does it all in this matchup. Kind of like uh, Ken's legs in general are almost like a sword. Just have so much reach here. And then again, getting that kill confirmed so nice. Being thrown out uh, second time. I think he's killed Master Mario with that option. Yeah, and Beautiful it, stuff. it's so scary for Nito to go for the focus in these up air situations because is he going to down air? Is he going to up beat? These are all multi-hitting things that Master Mario can go for. Yeah. Up again in that situation, trying to get up uh, the neutral get up there from NATO. Not gonna get what he wanted though. These hops coming out from Master 2 is always really uh, tricky because he makes it so hard for his opponent to get that read on him. Always mixing up his options. Looking, yeah, look at that, throwing out those yep. back airs constantly and then just landing himself and reading that, uh, reacting to uh, the get up roll and landing that up smash connection, taking it out 2 0. Um, again, really nice run from Nato. I know he's in losers now, not out of the tournament, but nice stuff coming out from both players here. And Masta really doing a, a good job. I was expecting uh, Nato to do, uh, you know, probably take a game there just because yeah, yeah. Mario kind of struggles with characters who keep him out or outrange him. But right. uh, Masta still doing a really good job um, alone with that matchup. 
Yeah. Stuff solid, solid uh, sets today, guys. If you are just tuning in again, we had so many great sets going on today. Please look back um, at the stream. I feel like we've been doing a pretty good job at first. You know, I was getting like yeah. a little tired, but now I'm really getting into everything, and we just have amazing uh, performances already. See a lot of uh, players kind of sitting around processing all the information. I see 